Hi, I'm Kieran Taylor, Hospitality Sales, ID Solutions at LG. I'm here to talk to you today about the hotel TV range. Um, we'll start with the UM662, which is available from October 2023. It will be available in the 43, 50, 55, 65 and 75. It comes with the Procentric Cloud solution. It'll have also a number of over-the-top apps that include Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime and Freeview. Then we have the UM767 in our range that's available in a 43, 50, 55 and 65 inch. This is a super slim panel, uh, sub 30 mil, which again, a lot of the hotels really like. Again, with Procentric Cloud and the over the top apps. And from January 2024, we'll have Apple AirPlay 2.0. And then finally, the OLED, which is available in a 48, 55 and 65 inch. Hi, I'm Mark Kitchen, pre-sales engineer for LG Information Display. Thanks to Kieran for covering our range on our hospitality TVs. Next, I'm going to talk around some of the features that are embedded into the screens and later our Procentric solution. So each one of our hospitality TVs has a hotel setup mode. To enter this, we need to go into the installers menu. To do that, we simply press the settings button for around five or six seconds until we see the top banner appear. When we do, we enter 1105 and OK. This now loads up the installer menu. We can see we have a hotel mode setup mode. We can access this and we have lots of different features in here. We can determine what volume we want when the screen is switched on and also limit a minimum and maximum volume. You've also got key management. Here we can decide whether we want the IR to work or whether we have it as a separate device and also limit mode. So limit mode enables us to show the menu display or the on-screen display. Outside of hotel setup, we have a lot of other settings we can choose from. So here we have the portal settings. We can choose which preloaded applications we want to show to the end customer. We can also add some website shortcuts as well as input shortcuts. They're all available then on the portal button. We also have media share. So we can select whether we want the screen to use smart share so the end user can then push their device to the display. And then we also have TV manager. So much more from an installer's perspective, we can now clone the display. And this will take all the network settings, room settings, and any other settings that they might need to replicate into multiple screens. Really helpful when you're doing a large deployment. Now we'll look at our Procentric solution. So this is exactly what the customer will see on the screen. And this is what we call a project deployment. So these can be customized in, in multiple ways, but we have lots of different features we can add on here. So we have our standard channel guide. So here you could get a preview of the channel that you want to look at and all the channels that um, are available. Next, we can go through, we have a one-click service. So if there's a PMS in place, you can actually order um, products or services from the room. We can also add in weather and flight information. So here you can see that's all available. There's also billing information available. So again, if there's a PMS that's integrated, the customer can log on and see what billing information they have to date. And we can also send messages to the rooms as well. So as mentioned, the project can be completely customized and that could be links through to certain pages or even buttons. So here we have a remote guide a wake up time feature, and also an option to select any languages. Next, we'll look at the back end of the Procentric solution. So now we've moved on to one of our interactive displays to show you the Procentric portal. Here you can see the project we deployed earlier onto our hotel TV. And this is where we can really build this and customize it completely. So here we can see the portal pages, all the buttons and everything that they do. For instance, the smart applications and the ones that we want to add in. And here's all the information that we included. So the weather, the flight, the map, the billing information. It's all stored within the project. 
We can add different widgets as well. So there's loads of options below for additional widgets that you want to add. Next, I want to show you our room manager. Here is where you can control all of your displays that are connected to your network. We can see if they're checked in or checked out. We can also reboot them and select whether we want to utilize the soft access point that's available on the, each display. We also have a deployment group option. So here we can decide which group the display sits in. And this means we can deploy different projects to different room sets. So if it's a suite or a basic room, they can have different features and functions. So how do we set up the screens? All you need to do is log into your Procentric Cloud, click on the installation code, and it will give you a six digit number. That is valid for 24 hours for security reasons. And this is entered onto the display when you first switch it on. Once you've done that, set up the network, it's connected. Thanks for watching. We also have a Procentric Cloud certification course where you can register for free. And it's a really good knowledge base for any information on the system. That can be found at academy.europe.dsl.com.